Let's go to the rebellion in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo now. The United Nations says that it has evidence that the conflict is being fueled by neighboring Rwanda. The BBC has seen an internal UN report which accuses Rwanda of supplying weapons and soldiers. Our correspondent, Gabriel Gatehouse, is in Eastern Congo. Fresh from a heavy morning offensive, these soldiers are on their way back to the front line. Until last month, they and their enemy were on the same side. But in April, several hundred of their former comrades mutinied, and the fighting is now concentrated on an area near the Rwandan border. The United Nations says this latest conflict is stretching its resources as its peacekeepers struggle to reassure an anxious population. Now the UN claims it has testimony from deserters that the rebellion is being fueled by recruits and support from neighboring Rwanda. They said that they were recruited in a village called Mundede, that they were given training in weapon handling and that they were sent to DRC. The United Nations spoke to 11 defectors who had deserted their posts in the mountainous jungle area on the border with Rwanda. The confidential UN report, which has been seen by the BBC, says the deserters were Rwandan nationals, recruited in Rwanda under the pretext of joining the Rwandan military. They were given weapons and training and were then sent across the border to fight. One of the deserters, the report says, is a minor. The 11 men are staying at this United Nations compound while the UN and the Congolese government work out what they want to do with them. But off the record, the Congolese military are saying they too have in their custody defectors who tell very similar stories. <laughs> Nearly 100,000 people have been forced from their homes by this latest fighting. For two decades, this region has known little peace. Over a million fled from Rwanda into eastern Congo following the Rwandan genocide. That horror gave birth to countless aftershocks that are being felt here again today.